In this demo, we're going to take a look at how we can request, author, and negotiate an agreement using Aptis Contract Lifecycle Management. Let's quickly create a new agreement. We're going to create a master subscription agreement. I'll quickly give it a name. Associate a primary contact, my relevant account, start date, end date, total agreement value, associate the relevant region, and I can also select any payment terms and a support exhibit. Any of these selections can drive the conditional assembly of my contract. Now we're viewing the contract record. On the right hand side are state aware actions that show me exactly what I need to do next to move this contract through the process. Let's generate the customer facing contract. I'll select my output format, the relevant template, and generate the agreement. Now that the document has been generated, we can open it in Microsoft Word. Now we can see the master service agreement with the start date, end date, relevant account, and all the pertinent information that we entered into the system has been conditionally merged into a template, and this is the document that's ready to be sent to the counterparty. Now let's take a look at how we can author and negotiate that. I'm gonna to navigate to my document and view it in Microsoft Word. Within Microsoft Word, we can see start date, total agreement value, and other information has automatically been merged into the template, and our customer-facing agreement is ready to go. Using the XAuthor Contracts ribbon, we can leverage a legal playbook, bi-directionally sync data from Word back to Aptis, and even use things like Chatter. Let's say that a customer made a modification to the agreement, changing the start date or any other fields that we have within the document. These changes can automatically merge back into Aptis. We also have the ability to track deletions or insertions. We also have the ability to access a legal playbook for fallback language. In this example, I'll add governing law. It's incredibly easy to search the legal playbook, select a template, and insert that text directly from Aptis into the document. Now governing law has been inserted into the document. Let's check the document back in to track everything we've done. In this instance, I'll retain the red lines, reconcile the document, preview the changes that have been made to both the agreement start date and the total agreement value, as well as the changes that have been made to our clauses. We'll now finish and check in the document. Back inside Aptis, we'll notice that the start date has been updated. Our agreement clauses are being tracked. Notice governing law and additional users being modified. A new version of our document is available. Notice the two versions and the complete audit trail showing us all the versions associated to the contract. We can always route for approval or send for e-signature. That's how easy it is to request author and negotiate an agreement using Aptis Contract Lifecycle Management. Thanks for watching.